choice. Sean, how, how much of an advantage is it to have the pole position tomorrow? Because this is not land, this is water. Huge advantage. It's a massive advantage. Because you're first going to the buoy. That means for someone to beat you, they have to pass you by more than one boat length, go through the first corner, because they cannot change the lane, and then pass you. So you have a big advantage being on the pole. It's a big deal. Big, big deal. How does it compete against your teammates for the top position? <laughs> it's great. Um, we have a great, honestly, you can see up here from us, we have a great uh, spirit in the team, and we're all really good friends, and we work really hard together. And for all of us, it's our dream to do this, so we keep that in perspective. If, the, if, if everybody works well together and the team stays happy, we all get to stay. You understand? <laughs> we don't want to make a problem. So, yeah. so like this, it's good. And the second thing is good, we all have information. So after the, the, the free practice, we, we share the information. We look at the computer. We talk about the propeller and make better. What do you think of the city, the Vichewara itself, the people, the people? I, I'm, I am not kidding. I am blown away by this country. I've never been to India before. Um, one of the crew chiefs for Tani is Indian. His name's Felix. He's with us. And he also helps me in offshore. He's my crew chief in offshore where we won the world championship this year in XCAT. And um, I didn't know what to expect. Okay, I'm worried about, you know, the food. and the, I love Indian food, but I'm from America. America Indian food might not be the same, you know, because it's not in China. So I come, but, but really what I'm most blown away by is the, the spirit of the people. It is what seems to me to be chaos on the streets. No one is ever angry. Everybody is smiling. If, if two cars pass, it's no problem. In the U.S., everybody be shooting each other. It's incredibly, it's, and I tell my, my wife, we have literally everything we could ever want in the U.S., and most people are not as happy as they are here. It's, it's really incredible. And for this, I want to bring my daughter, I want to bring my wife so that they can see. So next year, inshallah, we're here next year, they're coming with me so that they can see and feel the people here because it's incredible. Sean, we wish you all the very best for tomorrow. Thank you. So let's see if you're going to open the champ bottle of champagne tomorrow. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Mert Stromoy, you've given an absolute surprise at the very end. Like people were saying earlier, it was completely unexpected. Was the strategy deliberate? Did you plan the best for the last? <laughs> No, it can look like that from the outside, but uh, we were trying from the very beginning of the qualifying. Uh, I did change propeller during the qualifying, and uh, we ended up with a very good setup. Uh, it's about when you qualify, when the people are so tight together, it's a little bit about finding the right water, the right lap, and just doing it. And uh, it was exciting for you, but it was exciting for me too, because I, at one point I was thinking I would be out of Q2, but uh, in the end, uh, we made a good result. No, Sean has a definite advantage of being in pole position tomorrow. But how confident are you of beating him tomorrow? As confident as, as ever? Yeah, for sure. I mean, everything is possible. The race is long. It's uh, 45, 50 laps for sure. And... Uh, uh, the thing is, the first corner is important. Uh, it's important to stay out of trouble, but it's important also to be uh, to be uh, very eager to to get in. And um, we just have to see tomorrow. I can plan this for the whole night, but at the end of the day, when I come to the first corner tomorrow, we'll see what happens. So, how do you feel about the city itself, the people? Uh, it's been a wonderful experience so far. Uh, we had a boat parade through the through the city uh, the other day, and and there was thousands of people smiling, clapping, applauding, uh, uh, kids, grown ups, everything. And it's such a nice place to be. And we've been all over the world uh, with this concept, and uh, I'm really liking this place. So, Mr. Stromoy, is it possible for you to beat your own speed tomorrow? It's because, as we understand it. It's not necessarily uh, the fastest race tomorrow, just like today itself. You can go faster on either day. Is it true? Yeah, today is all about winning the qualifying you do with having the best lap, lap time, one lap. The race starts, everyone is on one line, and it's like a Formula One car. You go from uh, red, when the red, red uh, light go down, everyone starts at the same time. And we go around 45 uh, laps all together. And it's about winning, being the first. So uh, what you've seen today might be confusing for someone that does not understand the concept. But tomorrow it will be very clear who is the winner, who's not. Because everyone will start at the same time. The race will take 
place for like 45 minutes and uh, after we see who's on top of the podium. Yep. It's Romo. Um, wish you all the very best for tomorrow for the Grand Prix race. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>